Good morning and praise the Lord for this wonderful new day. This is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Isn't it God good? In his mercy and faithfulness, he has given you and me uh, another day to live and enjoy his presence and his glory. Amen. Remember, we have been talking about being strong in the Lord. And uh, then how we can be strong. Uh, the, the, for that, uh, Apostle Paul in 6th chapter of Ephesians talk about an armor of God. He has provided his own armor for, for us as soldiers of the cross in this world. And the whole thing he concluded by saying, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Ephesians 6 verse 18. <clears throat> so this morning I would like to talk three things about prayer. Apostle Paul says, praying always of, with all prayers. Three things about prayer. Number one, prayer must be constant. You know, the Bible says, pray always. Without ceasing, you pray. These are the instructions given by the Lord for the believers, for the followers of Christ, to be in touch with the heaven. How is it possible for a person to always pray? You know, prayer is such an activity that which can be done always. You know, even when you are traveling, you are driving your motorcycle or your car, or you are sitting in the train, you can pray. And uh, if you are working during those working time, you can pray uh, in your heart, in your spirit. That is a privilege. That is an opportunity. And so prayer is something that can be done always. Anywhere, everywhere. And every time you can be praying. And there are people who constantly keep on talking to Jesus. They are worshipping. The second thing is, prayer must be intense. You know, limp prayer never got a man anywhere. What is limp prayer? You know, limping. You know, somehow you want to finish a short prayer. And it is a great struggle for many people because they are not used to. But one has to use to praying always. Praying is what? Just talking to God. And how we love to talk to people whom we love. And they, they, they talk all kinds of things. One never gets tired of talking when you, when, when you love somebody. And so that is prayer. And the prayer must be intense. That the somehow uh, finishing a five minutes prayer or two minutes of prayer itself is a struggle for many people. But that should not be so. And uh, prayer demands the concentration of every faculty upon God. And that is what prayer, you know what prayer is? Prayer is keeping in touch with God, keeping in touch with the heaven. And that must be constant and that must be intense if you expect some answers. God is always there to hear your prayer. But don't be mistaken that it does not mean that as soon as he hear the prayer, suddenly he drop the pa packet of answers. No, that is not the way it works. Your faith must be tested and your, your, your intensity must be tested. And, uh, you know, whether do you, are you, your earnestness must be tested. Because Hebrews chapter 6 also says, you know, God is, is the one who, who reward you. How? God is a rewarder of those who seek him earnestly. That's what the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 6. And that is 
what uh, what what the bible says earnest when you are earnest what is earnestness earnestness is some attitude that you desire something and you will not rest until you get it done or you receive it you are always working to towards it that is earnestness and uh, so god is not a rewarder of those casual seekers of god once in a while or maybe on sunday no he is a rewarder of those who seek him earnestly wholeheartedly and that is the meaning wholeheartedly and so let us be earnest to seekers of god let a man unite himself with the community in his prayer and let us pray with our families let us pray with our friends let us pray with the, the people of our village let us pray with the people of the church yes we must also pray alone when we have that 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 the secret communion with god but prayer is such a thing and then he say you watch and pray literally means be alert or to be awake be alert or to be awake when we pray it is dangerous to take a a take a flippant attitude about spiritual warfare we must take it very seriously if you are going to make it as a victorious christian that is what god god wants you to be a victorious christian apostle paul says in romans chapter 8 we are more than conquerors that means our battle can be intense and therefore our prayer also should be intense in order to be victorious and so the conflict is a real one the demon powers are at work the enemies are spiritual forces but god has provided sufficient necessary equipment for believers to be victorious in battle that's why apostle paul says in ephesians chapter 6 put on the whole armor of god so that you are ready and prepared to face the enemy when he comes to ward off all the temptation that he unleashed to toward you you can be an overcomer by the grace of god by the power of god by the armor of god that he has given you put it on and it will remain there god's blessing be upon you and may the grace of god continue to enable you to live victoriously this is a wonderful day to live so live and enjoy and glorify god amen